Hi, I'm Dan Finkel, and I'm a math educator. If you think about the typical way that we learned math and the typical way that teachers usually teach it in kind of a, a classical way, it usually is, here's this thing that students need to learn and I'm gonna show them how to do it and then they, they do it and then we kind of move on. And I wanna contrast that with rich learning. And what makes rich learning rich is that it is motivated, at least in part, by the student's curiosity. The student has to grab onto something and say, oh, I'm actually interested in that. And that draws them into some deeper struggle with the material that actually isn't just about getting one right answer and being done. That actually that first answer might lead to another question, and the answer to that question might lead to another question. And there continues to be a deepening and enriching of the perspective that leads to a much more powerful kind of ownership over that perspective. It is a mathematical experience that is connected to other experiences and actually connects up the understanding from different things. One of the big things that I do is think about rich learning and how to make that happen. Because you cannot guarantee it. It's really something that the students need to be willing to do and kind of be game for. But you can offer them the opportunity. You can invite them into rich learning in a couple of powerful ways. One of them is to actually use rich tasks, to find experiences that you have had in mathematics or that you see that you can have in mathematics. Uh, and those are rich tasks that I design. I design them for Maths Pathway, among other places, and use those to actually engage the student's curiosity, spark their curiosity, and pull them into this space of productive struggle. Rich tasks really have kind of a beginning, middle, and end, uh, a launch, and then a middle section, which I usually call like the work of it, and an end section. And in the launch, we spark their curiosity. In the work, we keep them in productive struggle. And this is where they really learn and make those connections. And at the end, we reflect, we share what we've learned, and hopefully students get a sense of ownership here. And this experience of richness, to my mind, is the thing that once you've had it, you can never go back to the way that you've taught and learned mathematics before. That the rich experience is the one that makes you say, oh, this was mathematics all along? Why did no one ever show me this before?